I'm reflecting this morning on what happens when your world gets turned upside down. And mine got turned upside down last week when I was the victim of a very upsetting hack on my computer. Suffice it to say that I was so alarmed by the whole thing that I called the number and let someone into my computer through software for 30 minutes before I realized that I was being hacked. Anyway, the point as it relates here is that I have been without my laptop for five days and it was extremely disturbing and my whole world got turned upside down. But I have trained myself to sit back and say, okay, what can I do with this? Like basically making lemonade out of lemons. And I decided when this happened that I was going to spend this past weekend filling myself with inspiration in any form that I could find. I have fallen into this whole podcasting thing. It's completely new for me. It's taking up a lot of my time and energy and thought in a really good way. It's really fun. Yet it's important to balance out the external focus. And this weekend I was reminded that I'm filling my head up with all of this stuff out there learning and groups and social media, all of these things that are new to me, it was time to fill my own tank. And when I say fill my own tank, I don't mean sleep and rest. I excel at that. I find as I'm aging that sleep and rest is critically important to how I move in the world. So this all happened on a Thursday night, and I was scheduled to go to a lecture on Friday morning at 8.30. And I started talking myself out of it because of my computer issues. And I went, ah, no. This is exactly what I need to do. And as I walked up the stairs at the Ethical Society of New York to go listen to Maria Popova, she's an author, poet, and essayist, and she has a really famous blog called, now it's called Marginalia. It used to be called Brain Pickings. I walk up the steps and a sign right at eye level on the floor as you're walking up the steps says, everyone is creative. And I knew that I had made the right choice to go there. There were a thousand people in the audience and it was absolutely beautiful. And so I surrendered the thought about my computer and all the angsting and the noise dissipated. I went to see two plays and I spent more time than usual listening to my audiobook. And I went by myself to see the Fablemans. And I just felt really proud of myself that I turned this upsetting situation into a beautiful weekend of self-love. I gave myself permission to let it all go. I just turned it around and I thought to myself, well, how did I learn how to do that? It's a really good skill. And I'll admit, I'm not always good at it. And what popped into my mind was, I have a condition I never talk about. It's tinnitus. I have ringing in my ears. And my mother suffered from the same thing and she had it really quite bad. When I realized I had it too, I'd made a choice in that moment that I was not going to talk about it and focus on it and complain about it and worry about it. I decided I wanted to be curious. And what happened is it comes and goes. And when it gets really intense, I always ask myself, what is it that my mother's trying to tell me? It's like a little game I play with myself. It stops me from getting all worked up. I sort of just get curious about it. What is it that I'm supposed to be listening for? Where is it that I've gone off course? And that hack made its way into my life. After I made an Instagram post to tell the whole world about my hack, I was like, ah, how boring. Am I going to let this ruin my whole weekend? And literally from one second to the next, I let it go. And I ended up having the best weekend ever. Sometimes you just need to look at what's happening and say, okay, I can spiral into the complaining and feeling sorry for myself, or I can get curious or make a different choice and turn it around. I know that's not always easy, but I'm just reminding you that we do have a choice to make sometimes, and that's to stop ourselves in our tracks and go down a different road. I don't know who needs to hear that today, but I thought I'd share it for what it's worth. I just had the best weekend ever. I started the week fully inspired by all of the amazing creativity I saw. That's one of the things I really love about New York. It's right outside the door. But you have to put on your coat and hat and get yourself out there. That's all for now. Until next time, from my heart to yours.